As the latest wave of coronavirus rages across the U.S., hospitals are becoming overwhelmed. The health systems are uh, as stretched as I've seen them, and people are, um, are suffering unnecessarily. So much of this is preventable. The easiest solution is for everyone who can to take the vaccine. The majority of patients in intensive care units have not been vaccinated. Of, of those individuals in our hospital in, in Francisca and Lafayette who were not vaccinated, um, that was 88% of the people. So 88% of the people in our hospital with COVID were not vaccinated. Hospitals are now having to make the difficult decision about what services they can offer. We're shutting down things like, you know, reducing our elective surgeries so that we can move those individuals into the hospital to help out. And that's not just within our facility, but that's even within our region. The pandemic has also taken a heavy toll on healthcare workers' morale. There are individuals um, who are really burnt out, who are really frustrated about um, about just the nature of this that's gone on for so long, and it doesn't. And now it's getting worse again. And and um, the question is, do they really want? And we've had just nurses saying, look, I. I can't do this anymore. Dr. Bean says hospitals are at the breaking point. He's calling on not only individuals to do all they can, but also on community leaders to lend their voice to help get the message out. The way through this is for everyone who can to get vaccinated. And so that's been one of our strong messages. However, our elected officials can help um, message that to the community and, and reinforce that is an essential, um, essential way to get us through this. With the increased number of patients, longer waits can be expected at emergency rooms, and doctors recommend seeking alternatives such as urgent care facilities for more minor emergencies. Dave North, Star City News, Lafayette.